So I'm gonna try my best to nail this. Uh, my arms gonna be getting super tired because I'm holding the camera. But that's a, a thought, as always, a good analogy and a thought for you guys. So um, I'm just now getting my YouTube channel kicking off again, uploading regularly. And the other day, I've been getting about 30 to 50 views on each video, right? The other day, I was look because I constantly look at my stats to see if the video is doing good, if I should upload another one because that one's slowing down what I should do, you know, analytics, all that stuff. So I was looking at my videos and I saw, okay, cool, I got like five likes on this one video and I got a dislike. And I wasn't like sour about it or anything. I wasn't like, oh man, I can't believe it. But I thought about it, man. I, often I watch YouTube videos and I'm thinking like, I wonder what person disliked this one. Like I'll see an awesome video and there'll be like three dislikes. And I'm like, I wonder who disliked that. You know what I mean? And so, when I saw a dislike on my video, I thought, I was like, dude, when you think about it, people just watch a video and they say, eh, I don't like it. What that tells the person is nothing specific, just the fact that there's a person out there that hated their video. And so I started, started to think about it, man. In life, a lot of us, there's a lot of people that complain about things or say, I don't like you. But they don't offer any constructive criticism or say why or if you change this or offer just offer you something to either make your product better feedback basically and so i thought it was fitting uh almost perfect timing that this starbucks opened because here where i live is a small town and when you talk about starbucks man my arms getting tired already but when you start when you started talking about starbucks around here in this small town you had a lot of people saying well that ain't right i don't like it i don't think you should we got local business coffee shops here we got to support local businesses it's going to be expensive no one's going to go negative 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 and the other day uh last week when they announced when it was going to be opening there was somebody that uh posted you know there's all this hate all this hate and negativity centered around starbucks i'm going to post three positive things about it right and so she posted some positive things about it and i was like that's what's missing in this world too many people are so quick to complain and, and say what's wrong with something or why they don't like something or normally it's just change but no one's ever offering feedback on how to make something better or what would make it really you know what would improve it too many people offering problems and not enough people offering solutions so i wanted to challenge you guys today with this thought man a thing that i like to say often hey what's up doing good doing good a thing that i like to say often is don't offer problems offer solutions a lot of times people will say hey i don't like this I, don't, I hate this oh i can't stand this but they never offer a solution or say what would be better or even confront a person and say hey do you mind not doing that they just hit the dislike button and move on with their day and the world is full of too many full of too many people like that that just want to give you a dislike and keep moving my challenge today to you is don't offer problems, offer solutions. And uh, we're not ending the video there, but I felt like that was a good spot to end. <laughs> I don't know, man. The next day. So we're here uh, at Starbucks again. I'm editing and I'm about to hop on a meeting with the client. Um, and I, so yesterday I attempted to wrap up that thought kind of just I spent all day thinking about it trying to figure out a way to close it off like to get the point across that I was uh, the point across that I was trying to get across and I came up with this y'all can quote me man I'm, I'm gonna make this a quote uh, but feedback is necessary for growth and if we limit our feedback to and neglect feedback from others then we either limit or stunt our growth bam 
But that's, I mean, that's basically what it is, man. If we want to grow and those around us to grow, we have to offer uh, and be willing to receive feedback because that's the only, the only way things can get better. And that, that's, that's just point blank. So I wanted to wrap that up with this thought uh, so I can get it out there. Um, but just think about that, man. In a lot of ways, we're closed off towards people or towards new ideas or whatever it may be because of our lack of uh, authenticity with that person or our lack of like a desire to change or get better. Like if you don't want to change, you'll just sit there and complain and you won't offer solutions or be open to solutions. But if you want to change and grow, then you're going to welcome feedback and openly give feedback so man that's that's surprised myself i put that that's pretty good <laughs> but go ahead and drop a like on this video man drop a comment um i i appreciate the feedback i have been getting i've been getting a lot of good feedback and if you do want to give my video a dislike that's cool just let me know what i could do to be better <laughs> but we'll catch you on the next one man just remember get out there create something